Today is Good Friday. It's the final day of Passion Week. When we think about the six hours of suffering that Christ would experience today, it's hard to imagine that we would call it Good Friday. But as Christians, when we stop and think about what was accomplished through Christ's sufferings, we know it truly is a good day. Let me encourage you today to read the accounts out of Matthew chapter 27, beginning with verse 45 through verse 54, and focus especially on verse 50 and 51. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Christ became the new covenant today. He became the way to the presence of God. So today, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., as you think about what took place on this day some 2,000 years ago, think about it with gratitude. Think about it in what it has meant to you and to so many others, and what it will mean to those who will come to know Christ as their personal Lord and Savior.